What is going on YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. And today I wanna to talk about being tied down or tied to the scale and how do we break free of that? How do we you know, monitor the scale to where it's not weighing on us all the time, both figuratively and literally? You know, it's an issue that we have, I think, in the weight loss community. It's an issue that a lot of people go through. And before I hop into that topic, if you've never hit one of my videos before and clicked on that button, my name is C-Dub, and I lost 125 pounds. That's right, 125, eating just one meal a day or OMAD. And I'm here to help you out with some of the tips, tricks, knowledge, and ideas that I learned along the way of my journey to help you out through your journey. I'd like to welcome you to the channel. I hope you become a subscriber and I hope you become a weight loss warrior. Smash that like button right now, everybody, to help my algorithm, to help me get out there to more and more people and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, we got all of that out of the way. Let's talk about scales and what I see a lot of people go through and kind of how we can kind of help that out. So number one, are scales important to weight loss? And obviously they are, right? I mean, you can never weigh yourself and lose hundreds of pounds and, and you know be good to go. But most people want at least some form of measure to know exactly what's happening. And yes, we all say clothes fitting should be the most important thing. But you know, a lot of times that's just not the case. And so where we struggle with, I think, is when we weigh ourselves too often and or we don't understand what the scale is telling us. And so those are two things that are very important or understand really the fundamentals of the scale. So th those are two really important things that I wanna address and I wanna make sure we understand. So whenever you're talking about your weight, we have people that weigh themselves every single day, we have people that weigh themselves every week and every month, or probably the standard you know, ways to look at the, the, the weight. But we also have people that weigh themselves multiple times a day. And this is very, very, very dangerous because your weight can fluctuate a massive amount in one single day. Whenever you're drinking uh, water, if you drink one glass of water, you've just gained a pound of weight until the next time you pee. So that's a problem. And if you just eat a meal, you can gain three or four pounds, especially if you're drinking with that meal, right, or sitting right there at that time. So if you weigh yourself in the first thing in the morning, you're generally at your lightest of the entire day. Now, if you don't eat or drink anything, that's obviously not gonna be the case. You're gonna lose weight throughout the day. An example that I wanna kinda get everybody to understand is, if you're gonna get on the scale in the morning and then feel like you've gained weight because you got on the scale later on in the day or right before you went to bed, and then you wake up in the morning excited because you've lost a little bit of weight and you're in this vicious cycle that, that's put yourself into these you know, um, highs and lows that you just don't need. It's very, very toxic and unnecessary. And you see some people will even feel like that they'll sit down and look at that dinner meal and they'll say, well, I just gained two pounds and normally I gained 2.5 and they get excited about it. So then they go out and have a dessert and then their scale is different in the morning and then they're upset and they don't really understand. One thing to understand that weight loss generally happens over the course of time, not a day. So your day, you're only burning. You can start working on the body fat, but it doesn't really show up until there's more of it. And so sometimes you won't even show up your total losses until you're over an entire week. So when you're focused on an hour to hour scale thing, you're gonna devastate yourself emotionally and take yourself down a path you don't wanna go on. I highly, 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 highly recommend that you weigh yourself no more than one time a day and always at the same time. This is another key. If you weigh yourself in the morning one day and at night the next, you may feel like you've gained weight. Even, you know, you weighed yourself consecutive days but you feel like you've gained weight. When in reality, no, you've gained weight through the course of the, of the day before too. So when you were going to bed the day before, it's different. And just to put that into a number, you might weigh 150 pounds in the morning. And then you weigh in the next day at night, and now you weigh 151. And you said, man, I gained a pound. And you're upset and you go to bed. When in reality, the night before, if you would have checked your weight, you would have weighed 153. And then you're in a situation where you're like feeling sorry for yourself when you're actually making progress. So don't do 
multiple weigh-ins and don't weigh in at different times. Be consistent, whether that be the morning or whether that be the night or midday or whatever the case is, before you eat lunch or after you eat lunch, it doesn't really matter. I would personally suggest though, that after you use the bathroom, when you first wake up in the morning is the time to weigh yourself. Now, is daily weigh-ins necessary? And this is where we get into, um, it really depends on you as a person watching this video. And I'm gonna explain what I did and I'm gonna use an example of another YouTuber and what they did. Um, in this situation. So what I did was I weighed myself every single Monday. Now I want to give a little bit of details about that because I, this is an interesting thing to think about. I consistently weighed it every Monday. I also did not eat on Mondays. So when I ate my meal Sunday night, I weighed in Monday morning. I'm not at the lightest I'm going to be in this situation. Actually, if I really wanted to weigh myself the absolute lightest I possibly could be, it would have been Tuesday right before I ate because now I've given that whole long 48 hour fast time to settle in and burn off weight and, and all of that good stuff, get all of any food and excess sugar completely out of my system before the weigh-in. But that to me, where I was at in my lightest of the week wasn't as important as being consistent. And Monday morning for me was consistent. So I did it every single morning of the weight loss journey. Now, after I hit maintenance, and I let my body go until it told me when maintenance was. And so when it said, you know, somewhere in that 180s is going to be your maintenance, right? So once I got to that 180 mark and I just consistently hit it three or four weeks in a row, I stopped weighing myself. And so now I weigh myself monthly and I judge my weight by my clothes. And if I feel like a shirt is getting too tight that used to be loose, I know, uh-oh, or my belt loop may go back one spot and I could say, uh-oh, maybe I need to rein it back without having to jump on the scale. And so I can cut back a little, I can plan my, my meals out a little bit better and I can get back to where I was at pretty quickly. And so my monthly weigh-ins don't generally change and I just judge from my clothes. And that's kind of how I've rolled for over a year now. But I can use the example of Kayla Cox, which does six miles to supper on YouTube. If you've never seen her channel, you gotta go subscribe. She does a fantastic job, has a lot of good content. She lost over 80 pounds and she weighs herself every single day. Now it's in the morning after she uses the bathroom and it's always consistent and she doesn't weigh herself more, more than once a day. But she weighs herself every single day. And when I spoke with her one-on-one, -on -one, we sat down and I will at the end of this video link the interview I had with her and we were talking about weigh-ins, she said she weighed in every single day. And her reasoning behind weighing in every single day was it kept her accountable for that day. So she could then look and say, okay, I weigh 152 today. Tomorrow morning she gets up and she weighs 152 again. She knows maybe she went slightly higher than she wanted to be in her deficit. So she could take the food content for that day and she could slowly wean a little bit of that back so that she could see a little bit more movement the next day on the scale. And that's kind of the way she's always kept it. Or she woke up at 151 on one day, the next day she comes in and she weighs 152, she knows she really has to do a lot or fast a little longer or walk a little more. She can adjust her schedule, however, to fit the fact that now she you know, doesn't feel like the weight is there. I feel like I still had that same power over the course of a week, I just didn't stress myself out with it daily. I feel like, you know, whenever you're putting pressure on yourself daily, it's a little bit harder, but some people can thrive under that daily pressure and make the proper adjustments every single day as they go through this journey, when other people just need feedback once a week and you may even need feedback once a month and just judge it on your clothes. Hey, look, I just bought a shirt, it fits perfect. Now we're gonna see, every week I'm gonna wear this shirt and we're gonna see if that shirt gets tighter, I'm in big trouble, but I'm only gonna weigh myself once this month. And if the shirt gets looser, I know I'm moving in the right direction. And that's kind of a way you can do it too with belt loops or whatever else. But I do think it's toxic to weigh yourself multiple times a day. And I think if you're doing that, I recommend highly that you stop immediately and you get yourself to either a one day weigh in or a weekly weigh in. I think that's the way to go. And remember that anything moving down is a positive thing. If you're weighing yourself once a week and you're seeing ounces off the board, that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. You know, and and it's just something that's very hard for us all to wrap our mind around. 
but hey, progress can come short and small and progress can have good solid weeks of multiple pounds. And you have to be excited about both of them, but don't bog yourself down with multiple daily weigh-ins. All right, that's all I got for you today. The interview I was talking about with Kayla, it's right here. Check that thing out. If you, if you don't check that one out, check out one of my other videos over here. YouTube's recommended. And no matter what you do, my face right there, click on it and subscribe to this channel. Become a weight loss warrior. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.